A new warning for Texas farmers also applies to regular homeowners this year. It's the season for gophers. The rodents are usually a problem in East Texas, but right now they're digging the valley. Frank McCaffrey did a different kind of digging. Frank, who did you talk to and what did you find out? George Rodriguez is a second generation farmer in Santa Rosa. He has fought to keep nature from damaging his business his whole career. George Rodriguez says his hay farming business has been very good to him over the years. This year has been a challenge for many in the Valley agricultural community, but Rodriguez was prepared. Right now, with this uh, drought, it's been hard for farmers to survive on. And I said to myself, I got all my ends covered with a uh, Sudex grass to make some hay and sell some hay. Rodriguez is paying attention to a new warning from Texas A&M AgriLife Extension about gophers or ground squirrels that can burrow through his land. The warning states they're prevalent in the valley this year and Rodriguez has seen them on his land. He says they can cause damage to equipment. These rodents can also hurt Rodriguez's hay plants consuming plant roots and vegetation. For now, Rodriguez is working to stop them. We run the chisels pretty deep. And once we run them deep, I don't think they'll, they'll survive out there. But they'll do this some damage sooner or later. Rodriguez says he's worried about what wildlife in his fields could do to his very expensive machinery. I don't know what we could do. Maybe run some, uh, traps or something to catch them, but it would be those little animals are smarter than what we think. They're smarter <laughs> than us. <laughs> Channel 5 News reached out to the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. An expert with the group tells us Rodriguez should scout his fields right away to find gophers' mounds in the dirt. This is where gophers stay. If they see those, then they need to be prepared to bait. That's the best method of control in a large pasture or hay meadow situation as opposed to trapping. Courier Olson says this would minimize the damage the animals can do to a farmer's equipment or hay plants. According to Courier Olson, the gophers can also cause damage to irrigation equipment on a farm for hay or any other type of agricultural production. She says this is just one more reason a farmer should control gopher population on their farm. In the Channel 5 News studio, Frank McCaffrey, Channel 5 News.